Yeah. We are with the mullet man. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Here, man. It's been a bit, man. It's been a bit. Yes. We just pulled up to mullet man's place, man. Brought the boat. It's hot. Texas weather. We're on for a new adventure today. And we really have no clue what we're going to do, man. What do you think? At least we got sea deck to keep our feet cool. Yeah, yeah. To okay. an extent. Go fishing, fishing. That's about all we can do right we now. We got the bow fishing boat and uh, we got his airboat. So we might hit the river or something and try to get some gar or something crazy. I, I, saw, I, I saw you uh, with your buddy on the airboat a couple weeks ago and you guys were just, yeah, they, were, they everywhere. were everywhere. Yeah. You guys were just flying and just all yeah. over the place. Yeah, we'll go in the airboat tonight. We just gotta figure out something to do during the day. Okay. In this hundred. I, I say we stay degrees. inside in the AC. <laughs> I'm down for that. Yeah, tonight. Uh, tonight, I think we might take the airboat out, and uh, I think it might be a real good one. It might be one of the best bow fishing days of the year if we if we yeah. really focus. Stay out really, all night. Really focus. Yeah. Got the gas tank. Yeah. Yeah. We need so. to throw this. Uh, throw this guy in there, but. Yeah. I've been taking like a big trash can and it's such a pain. I know, I just got this from Tractor Supply. Yeah, I need to go get it. And it's one. got a drain plug at the bottom, so. Sweet. Um, I got some I got some meat I need to uh, throw in a, you got a deep freezer or something yeah. I can throw it in? I've got some crappie meat. Yep. You can right, vacuum seal if you want to. Yeah, it's already vacuum sealed. Yeah. All right, man, new adventure, here we go. Okay. We just showed up at Mullet Man's house and like we're walking back inside the house and two dudes are just stayed out here. I was like, do you know them? And he's like, no. And I was like, and I asked them, do you know him? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you can't come on somebody's property like that. We should have closed the gate. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's uh, yeah, guys, you can't, you can't just, you can't just come on a stroll on somebody's <laughs> property out here dude that's uh are they gone they're i think they're getting in their truck yeah they're backing up yeah that's not uh <laughs> what kind of truck is it f-150 oh that's uh it's just not okay man i just you know i hate like being a kind of a dildo about it but yeah. like you can't trespass like that just like come on it's like what if what if what if we were actually here and you and like your girl were in here just like having an intimate moment and they're just like <laughs> hey outlaw molt man you're like what yeah it's not good man don't do that man just just be respectful of people's privacy for sure i love meeting y'all man but do it in public not like drive up somebody's house especially with i mean mullet man's got some land too so they yeah. had to come up here yeah a little weird a little weird no oh, apologize apologize to you guys but you gotta gotta learn a lesson sometime in life all right guys you know i'm kind of jealous of your truck actually why is that? I don't know. I just like it a lot. I mean, well, you know, you wouldn't have people coming over to random people's houses if you had a wrap. If you didn't have a wrap. Yeah, I'm taking the wrap off for sure. That's it's a little dangerous, and I feel like it's disrespectful when I go to people's places. I apologize. Um, but anyways, I I really do like his truck. Is that a 19? 18? I'm a small YouTuber. My name ain't Alpha. <laughs> well, what, mine's at 18. What's yours? 17. 17. He's got, look at that thing, it's a the King Ranch. I just, I really like that color. Anyways, I'm dressed up like we're going to the beach right now because we basically are. It's so hot, dude. It's hot, hot. Like the hottest day I've been out all year. Um, we're actually switching everything over to the airboat because we're gonna go try a little catfishing first and then bowfish when it gets dark. Hooked up all the lights. We're ready to go, baby. Let's get these bows in. That sounds about right. Yeah, that's perfect. So now, kind of sounds a little too low. Well, with the, I think it's fine. The airboat, the idle. He was just talking about the idle on those things. They just kind of pushes you so fast. And when you're bow fishing, you want that idle turned down like almost as almost to nothing so that you guys can just float along sometimes do you have a kick or a troll motor for this thing too you put on sometimes sometimes i just don't like it yeah unless I'm, it's just so hard to fish out of because yeah a big old sail on the back of we're, go, we're going to the river though so we're going to see a lot of stuff tonight i'm excited about it how about 
tell you damn about right there. I'm on the beach now, boys. Good job. Hey, man, that's kind of scary, that dam up there. What happens if water comes out? We better yeah. haul booty. There's a, um, it's a very, dang very dangerous situation if they decide to let water out, and they don't tell the public when Dang they're going to dump dangerous. it. Dangerous. Dangerous. Pretty insane. I don't think look it's at this. as dangerous as this trailer. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this trailer. Look at this trailer, man. How about, go look on this side. It's called rigged. You! <laughs> what the? <laughs> you didn't notice that? I didn't though? notice that. Yeah, that's why I'm like, be careful, man. It's a little dangerous, dude. <laughs> wow. Water level is about this right now. That's why we brought the airboat and not my bow fishing boat. So we're gonna travel between here and uh, and uh, basically a bridge. It's a couple miles down. We're, we've got some catfish bait. We got some rods. We got the cooler full of drinks and food. Uh, and we got the rest of the day to just have a beautiful time. That's the plan, Stan. Cool. <laughs> Getting ready. Look at that idle. Warm up. 350 small back on there, small box. Yeah. yeah. I need these because I'm deaf. We gotta get a uh, roll off. So, earhead. Here, 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 Okay. Woke up quick at about six, jumped up out of bed, put a dip in my lip. I gotta wake up, let the day begin, cause I'm about to go hunting with all my friends. About to go and almost forgot my outlaw watermelon off the countertop. Ran in the house and grabbed my dip, spider coat blade on the side of my hip. Bailed outside, draped in camo. 30 yard six and a box of ammo. Jumped in the truck with the diesel inside. My dog jumped it back and off we ride. Then I let the pioneer blast. Bumping old shit by the late great cash. It was Folsom Prison at the Dude, top of the lift. Time. Then I played my own shit. Put it in the cooler? Yeah. It's a big soft shell turtle out there. Look at this dock, man. This was specifically built, Mike has been telling me. For bow fishing. This dude straight up built. Look at this. What's that right there? There it is. There's another one. No, that, that's another one. Cause that that's one another one. Yeah, that one was going about to that catch way. A big old softy. Dude. Let me Chill get that shrimp water. out. I'm going to rig that on right now. Drink a shock top. Get up. We got us some. You know the game, eh? <laughs> shock top and some soft shell. Got it in the Yeti Kula, yeah. It's a little bit of shrimp. Don't litter people. I see people out on these banks all the time just tossing trash. You know what, man? You're trash. Clean it up, man. Keep it clean. Here you go, bro. Right here. Got some cocktail sauce? Look at that right there. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. 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 Oh, there he is. A little shrimpy. Gonna let her float in there. I like that. Shrimpy, shrimpy, love the way you smell it. Fever. Oh, that's the uh, that's the last song on my new fishing album. Oh, I apologize, fishing album. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Possibly coming mm. soon. Mm. Oh boy. Off on the bank here, put some shrimpies on, and uh, we're looking for catfish right here. Okay, we're looking for catfish under this like insanely cool bow fishing dock. Dude said he's gonna put some lights on it soon. Crazy, but there's a little hole here. This uh, we wanted to bring my boat on it because if my boat was on these waters at night, it would just be insane. The issue is it's so shallow. I mean, this little pocket right here is about it. This little rock bend, that's about it. Everything else is, I mean, inches of water. That's why we had to bring the airboat. But uh, we're gonna try to catfish for a little bit here. See if we can get one. When the sun goes down, that's when we're gonna flip the lights on and bring out the bows. But we did just see a freaking nice ass long, long nose gar. That's why I bought the, brought the bow out. Man, I'm starting to lose my, my pronunciation. I don't know what's going on with me, man. You're down in Texas. You think something's on there? I don't know. 
think it might be that turtle. He was swimming around that area. It's moving, look, it's getting tighter. Yeah. It's going the opposite way of the current, so. I think it's just a turtle. Nothing. He'll come straight back to it. Oh, watch me. I can catch a fish with it on in. <laughs> Something with my friends. All right, turn the camera off so we can talk about this new album. Well, nothing happened catfishing. Saw a couple gar, saw a couple catfish, little guys, but we're gonna head down the river here, start bow fishing, got the light bars hooked up. Get her done, baby, shoot some fish. This guy actually back here lives off the river. He wants us to give him a couple buffalo too, so. Get her done. Went to the woods to join the pack. Knuckleheads out there caught a six point rack. The truck pulls up, who can it be? A half ton Chevy rolled in my man's seat. He rolled down the window and he looked at me. He said, It's all about getting that BBD. Cause the boys in the woods are always tough. Come talk at that trash and we'll call your bluff. Knowing nothing in life but to be a hick. Don't quote me, boy, cause I ain't said shit. Big fuck, big, big. There's a bunch of big drum down here. Here we go, y'all. We had the spot. You buck, big, big, big buck. Getting law in the place to give me the pace. Said my man FT just caught a case. This guy FT was my friend and shit. Till I caught him in my truck trying to steal my odd six. Chased him up the road to call a truce. The silly mother trucker pulls out a deuce deuce. Little did he know I had a 12 gauge pump. Caught the sucker once and he ran like Forrest Gump. Cause the boys in the woods are always tough. Come talk at that trash and we'll call your bluff. Knowing nothing in life but to be a hick. Don't quote me, boy, cause I ain't said shit. Don't mess with us. Don't mess with It's hot as a bit, so I went to the spot where my homeboys fish. The fellas out there waiting for that lotto. I pulled up in my black silver lotto. Dude, he was leaves. huge. It got caught in the light. Dude, look at these fish. They're everywhere. Right there. Oh yeah, there we go. Headshot. Dome shot. Oh, big one.
the motherfucker! Boat! Get in a boat! Oh my gosh, look at that bucket! High speed carp fishing. At its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta watch in these grabs right like right there. Got him! Go! My bow! Oh shit! No, I got him still! I got him! Big one! No, no, get him! Get him! Get him! Get the mother! Shoot him! Right there! Got him! Where's that arrow? We are so heavy right now. Flip the lights on real quick. We have got a lot. All big buffalo, huge buffalo. Every single one we shot is huge. It's crazy right now. Go a big buffalo. Some big buffalo right there. That's some of the biggest buffalo I've ever shot. It's, it's crazy. Tell me that's not big buffalo right there. There's some big mamma jammas up in that someday. Yeah. Yeah. That's the biggest. That's the first one I shot. And yeah, we still had two in the bucket that yeah. we're saving for that guy. Yeah. Big one! Big 
big one. Good job. That's a good one. That's a big common. God dang it. My drag's all the way down. It's it's locked. I can't get it to unlock. That is three in a row. What's crack, y'all? Back home. <laughs> Did I scare you in law? <laughs> <laughs> What's crack, y'all? Back home. Back home, man. Uh, it was it was a long, long few days down in Texas, man. Sorry, I'm still delirious a little bit. Apologize. But the night of bow fishing with Mullet Man was insane. A lot of people are probably like, man, you need to turn your bow up. You're pulling out of too much fish. The reason I was pulling out of so many fish is my drag was locked on my reel and I could not get it. Now, we decided... Oh, we're only going to bring two bows because one person's got to drive the airboat and the other <laughs> and the other two people are going to shoot. So I only brought two. My other bow was perfectly fine. It was brand new reel. The only issue I had was my drag was stuck, locked on, I think it's like an MX-80 reel by Muzzy. I can't remember, but the, the drag would not move. And then in-laws, reel cap was coming off every single time. My shoot-through rest was bad. I mean, dude, we were having so many issues because we were just, do, do, do. When you're shooting on an airboat compared to trolling, it's so much different, man. You got to be super fast and you got to be super accurate. We probably shot 300 fish. We had to do so many offloads because the boat just kept getting too heavy. I think if we stayed out there a couple more hours, we probably could have shot like, what, 500 in law? Yeah. Easily. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. And they were big, big yeah. buffalo as y'all mm -hmm. saw, man. It was insane. High speed bow fishing at its freaking finest. Thank you to Mullet Man, the man, my buddy, for taking us out. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. That was the only vigil we were able to do with him. But he is coming back up here to the old Colorado in about a week or so to film some more vigils. So that's going to be fun. Make sure you hit subscribe and go subscribe to Mullet Man. Link in the description box. One last thing before I go, guys. The 4th of July merch is here. Keep it freaking American. Look at that. Look at that. We got the freaking hat. Check that out. Uh-huh. We got the koozie. This is awesome. Uh, I don't have the top off because, well, 
it's 10 a.m. and I'm not a delinquent and I'm also not on vacation anymore so I gotta be somewhat professional. I don't know why I just curtsied, but apologize. Do your curtsy. If you want this merch by July 4th, you gotta order it today so they can ship it out to you, get it there quick. But it's still gonna be available for a little bit, so go get it, outlawmerch.com. It is available now. It's probably one of my favorite shirts. Outlaw logo turned into Uncle Sam. We'll call our Uncle Outlaw, baby. Uh-huh. Love y'all so much, man. Thank y'all for sticking around and watching these videos, man. Uh, we keep popping them out, and we're about to film a new one right now, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see some more bow fishing, in-law and I are heading down to Mississippi to go after monster, giant, alligator gar that's coming up here in just a few days 25 8 366 no matter what you're doing keep a freaking hillbilly out loud doors is out holler Monday night.